Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf back again, and welcome back to the channel. And that is right, it is NHL 22 season. NHL 22 is officially out, and uh, you know, it's time to do my yearly thing and try to help you guys learn some uh, deeks. Um, so you can, uh, you know, style out on uh, some of your opponents here. So that being said, I'm going to go through every uh, deke that uh, there is in NHL 22. I'm going to try to help you guys uh, learn them um, because some of these dekes can be very useful in game. And uh, I mean, some of them just look really pretty. So uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is the backhand and forehand tuck. So first things first. Uh, we will be showing you the backhand tuck and I will be doing this with right-handed players So when I uh, say these um, Moves with your controller it's gonna be with the right-handed player But you can see the graphic on the screen. It does show you guys how to do it with a left-handed player as well So uh, regardless the backhand tuck what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your stick out to your forehand And then you're gonna hit both RB and LB and it will uh, you know tuck it on your backhand And then with the forehand tuck you're gonna hold your stick to your backhand and then hit RB and LB and it will uh, do the forehand tuck for you as well so pretty uh very easy deeks to do uh they were op back in nhl 20 i want to say 21 they got toned down uh 22 is probably toned down as well but hey uh you know it could work next thing i'm gonna show you guys how to do is the backhand windmill um this is another very simple deke to do you're gonna hold lb then uh go out with your right stick and that will do the uh backhand windmill for the forehand windmill uh same thing you're gonna hold down lb and then out with your left stick again pretty simple deeks here um and this can be useful in game to get around opponents so these uh deeks that i'm gonna show you guys here were new last year um they're still very useful they are very useful in game so the first one is the bank pass is what i like to call it uh, so this is what it looks like um, you know just you know you flip the puck off of the boards and you can get around your opponent if there's someone uh, close to the boards there uh, so what you're gonna do to complete the bank pass is you're gonna click both LB and RT at the same time and it performs a deke again pretty simple deke the other new move they added last year uh, I call it the Crosby uh, it's where you're behind the net and you perform the deke like this um, so again very uh, simple to do uh, very similar to the bank pass uh, click both LB and RT at the same time but you just have to be behind the net to uh, bank it off of the net obviously now moving on to a bit more of a complicated deke this one's called the behind the back so this is what it looks like uh it looks simple to do but it ain't that simple to do so what you're gonna do uh for this deke is you're gonna hold the puck out to your forehand you are then gonna hit and hold rb and then rotate your right stick to the left and put your left stick inwards and then both stick outwards now i know me saying that uh, i mean just hearing myself say that sounds difficult uh but make sure to follow the graphics on the screen as well uh it does take a little bit of time to learn how to do it took me a long while to learn how to do back in the day but uh, once you get the hang of it it is one of the simpler uh harder deeks to do if that makes any sense so keep practicing that uh go over it and uh, you should get it in due time we're gonna go back to some simple deeks um i don't know if you want to call these deeks but they are uh, something you can do in game uh, that can be useful and this one is the between the legs pass so uh what you're gonna want to do for the between the legs pass is hold down lb and your right stick and then hit our T like you're going to pass the puck normally a uh, very simple uh, deke to do and uh, honestly uh, it can help trick defenders um, when performing this pass now we got another between the legs deke this one's the between the legs shots again similar to the between the legs pass you're going to hold down LB in your right stick and then you're going to flick up on your right stick like you're going to shoot it and uh, it performs the shot so um, I don't know how OP this shot is it is an OP actually um, but it looks cool. So the next deeks I'm going to show you are uh, some Datsuk deeks. So the first one being the Datsuk flip. So to perform the Datsuk flip, what you're going to do is click your right stick in and push it down on it and then hit RB to flip the puck up like you're going to create a saucer pass. But once you're doing that uh, Datsuk uh, deke, you hit RB and it flips a puck up for you. This can trick a goaltender uh, where, you know, maybe you're shooting the puck and then you flip it over his shoulder. Uh, very cool deke to perform. The next Datsuk deke I'm going to show you is the Datsuk shot. So very similar to the Datsuk flip, you're going to click your right stick in, push it down, and then flick up on the right stick like you're going to shoot the puck, which you are shooting the puck. So uh, pretty simple dekes. Again, this can trick out the goaltender once you're dragging the puck back. He's either expecting a shot or a flip. It's 50-50 at that point. This next deke I'm going to show you isn't very... Um, useful in game but it's a thing uh this one's called a jump deke so to perform the jump deke it's very simple you're gonna click rb and at the same time flick up on your right stick and uh that's the jump deke 
The next deke I'm going to show you is the Kucherov. This one is another complicated deke to pull off. And last year, apparently, I taught you guys how to do it uh, an alternative way. There is an easier way. So this year, hopefully, uh, this will make more sense. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your puck to your forehand. You're then going to hit LB, and then you're going to put your left stick to the left and your right stick to the right, and it should perform the Kucherov deke. Now, reading that, it does sound pretty simple, uh, way better than I described it last year. So again, to do the Kucherov, uh, you're going to hold the puck to your forehand lb uh then you're going to uh put your left stick out to your left and then your right stick out to your right and that'll perform the kucherov deke now this deke is complicated very very much complicated and very very hard to pull off in game but it is a deke and i'm going to teach you guys how to do it this one i'm sure you guys know what it is it's called the michigan um i'm not even sure if i'm going to be able to pull it off in video here for you guys but i'm going to try my hardest to show you guys what it looks like so what you're going to do to perform the michigan uh, good luck. Get get a notepad ready. What you're going to want to do is hold the puck to your forehand. You're going to hold down LB. You're going to hold in your right stick and then rotate uh, that right stick to the left and then to the right. And it should perform the deke. Now, like I said, it's it's very hard to pull off in game. Um, so good luck. Again, uh, practice makes perfect. You can get it down. Uh, you just need a very good player to uh, pull off this deke with. Back to the easier dekes. Uh, this is the one touch backhand. To perform the one touch backhand, you have to hit LB and at the same time L with the right stick and that'll perform the deke. And then you got the one touch forehand obviously to go along with that. Again, very similar, hit LB. And at the same time, you're going out with the left stick instead of the right stick. So um, that's how you perform the one touch backhand and forehand dekes. Next week, I'm going to show you again, this is just more for style and skill. It's called the skate kick. So what you're going to do to perform the skate kick deke is you're going to hold down LB and at the same time down on the right stick and that'll perform this, um, you know, uh, nice looking deke. So the next deke I'm going to show you guys is a through the legs deke. This is something that could be very useful in game. Uh, this is what it looks like and I'm going to show you guys how to perform it. So what you're going to do to perform the through the legs deke is hold the puck to your forehand. You're then going to hit the right uh, bumper and rotate your right stick to the left and that'll put the puck through your legs to complete the deke. The next deke I'm going to show you guys how to do is the toe drag. Again, a very simple deke to do. You're going to hold the puck to your forehand and then rotate your stick to the left. And uh, yeah, there you go. You got the toe drag. Now this is the deke that I left out last year. Uh, it goes along with the toe drag. This one's called the toe drag shot. So if you've ever seen Austin Matthews play a game of hockey, um, sure you've seen him do the toe drag shot um so they have it in game and this is how you do it you're gonna hold your puck to you're gonna hold the puck to your forehand uh you're gonna rotate your left stick to the left and then uh while he's performing the toe drag you're gonna flick up to shoot it and uh that's a toe drag shot next is the henrik zetterberg uh deke this one can be used um in game obviously uh what i meant to say is it's very useful in game it can be very useful in game uh when performed at the right time so what you're going to do to perform the zetterberg deke is you're going to hold the puck onto your backhand you're then going to hit and hold down the left bumper what you're going to do after that is go outwards with both sticks and then inwards with both sticks and that'll perform this deke it's a pretty good looking deke and if you perform it at the right time you can definitely um you know break someone's ankles and make them look like a pylon uh no offense dion but yeah guys i think I pretty much covered every deke that there is in the uh, video game NHL 22. Um, if I was able to help you, uh, be sure to drop a like uh, down below. Be sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know if I helped you. If I left out any deeks as well, uh, drop a comment. I can try to help you guys out in the comments. Um, but yeah, guys, um, if you guys are also new around here and you want to see some NHL 22 content, I will be producing videos three times a week. Hockey Ultimate Team, ESHL, Franchise Mode, Be A Pro, you name it. Uh, you know, if you want to see some videos from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to stay updated. But that is it, guys, for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys very, very soon. And hopefully I was able to help. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!